Okay, so hello. Um, today is our free topic, and I decided to bring our meal time. And uh, the, the main, oh, what's it, main title is finding our meal time. And then the uh, minor subject would be like, our meal's time is disappearing. So, oh, yeah. have you ever felt like um, you are missing a lot of meal time? Like, <laughs> You missed the breakfast, and I got coffee for lunch and <laughs> dinner, um, drinking, or <laughs> drinking a beer, something like that. So I was thinking that is not really a good habit. And mm. um, yeah, and um, as a student, studying hard is really important and good. But also, we need to take care of our body because it's the body that we're gonna go till the end. So um, the first thing is the. Uh, who is the breakfast like this? Anybody? It's a Korean style, Western style, that is a Hong Kong style, dim sum. And this is a typical um, breakfast that we think that you can never have. <laughs> and what about the lunch? Um, anyone who brings our lunch like this? Or <laughs> no? <laughs> what about um, dinner? <laughs> Anybody have dinner like this or you know have your co-workers or friends to have a talk over the dinner? That is a typical uh, Western style of dinner, even Koreans. So hopefully not. So it's not So are they just a fantasy that we can never have? Well I don't think so we can actually have some. <laughs> so we brought our meal time, it's our breakfast that we get on the way to school <laughs> and then it's our lunch, lunch is on the side and our, you know, homework <laughs> yeah. are in the middle and actually she tried to be a little healthy so maybe a fruit juice and our <laughs> dinner <laughs> so that is what we have for that and do you think it's healthy? Mm, not really so what is proper meal? A college student's eating habit in general is um, ramen as a norm. Mm. So the, um, what we think the uh, best meal is that when, when the meal is cheap or is quick to make or easy accessible. So if we can get it anywhere near the school, that is the best. And a lot of, it's all over the world, even in America, people prefer ramen because it's cheap. Yeah. Yeah. It's cheap and quick, like when you a couple of minutes, yeah. and easy access mm -hmm. everywhere, Walmart or even cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, and uh, what is the even eating habit of the students in <laughs> college? Usually cold sandwiches, is it? <laughs> Pizza, bread, potatoes, or some people prefer salad, mm -hmm. or beer, of course. So even the little <laughs> pyramid like this, <laughs> ramen takes the biggest role in the pyramid. Yeah. And maybe bread, vegetable, milk, and even you know, some snacks for lunch. Hour. And so I decided to bring up the healthy eating plate. So how can we improve our um, meal style? Oh, we really don't have a time for it, or we just don't know how to, mm -hmm. because nobody actually taught us how to eat. So, um, I wrote this, so let's say there is a plate, and then you can start from putting um, healthy protein, such as fish or meat, as you all know, and whole grains. Whole grains are usually really good for low fats and brings a great energy. And fruits always get always yummy, mm -hmm. colorful, and this is it gives you um more high high no not hygiene, hydro, and it gives you uh for girls uh it gives you great skin because it's full of water in it, and um and uh, even they have the healthy oils a lot of students say that oil mm, no because we think oil I, I have enough fats already so why do I need it <laughs> but unlike this um, oils are really good if it's not bad oil like uh, you know um, I'm not gonna mention this this is a recording but <laughs> oils like uh, for example olive oil 
that we make or even coconut oil that is actually having a big issue so right now. A lot of people take a coconut oil for diet even. And um, it, if you cook eggs with the coconut oil, it gives uh, really low fat and full of um, really good health ingredients. Mm -hmm. It works as a health ingredient. And, uh, if uh, I think that you like coffee, so if you put a yeah. scoop of the coconut oil yeah. in your coffee, mm -hmm. it uh, it slows down the uh, metabolism of uh, you know extracting the coffee. So it makes you less tired and then less wanting to have more. Yeah. So a lot of actually a lot of celebrities are taking coconut oil, and actually there are a lot of coconut. Now it sounds like a coconut oil. <laughs> A lot of coconut oil is all, all around the market lab nowadays, even in Korea. And what can we do as a college student? Some people are staying in the dorm, some aren't. But regardless, parents are not taking care of us anymore, right? So we need to take care of our meal because, for example, my house, uh, everybody works. So when I wake up and if I have a late class, then I wake up and nobody's home. Mm -hmm. And I just decide to grab anything that I see, not actually thinking of the <laughs> meal. And then I just leave the house. And who tired taking classes, just having some chocolate or bread, and then survive. And in the end, just having some drink with friends, mm -hmm. something like that. So I thought even uh, for the people who live in the dorm, we need to uh, get into some recipe that we can easily cook. So if you Google it, there are many recipes that is recommended for the college students. And that is really easy, short time uh, recommend, no, not recommend, short time requiring. And it's really cheap and because you're just getting the ingredients, not the actual meal. So I think that start a new challenge by taking care of your body such as we got to take care of ourselves because nobody will in the end. And if we do such uh, cook and then start to uh, know what we are eating by making food because when you're making food you don't know what to put it in yeah. and then once you put it in you know exactly what you put. So it gives you a awareness of what kind of uh, food that you consumed and that probably you can maybe lose some weight. And we are adults, so someday in the future, unless we hire some body to cook for us, we got to cook anyway, so why not start now because we are not children anymore. And mm -hmm. uh, it could be a new possible hobby, I think. Like, instead of going out for a dinner and have uh, a couple of beer and got drunk, why don't you just invite your friends over and mm -hmm. start to cook? Like you can have so much fun and usually ingredients are so much colorful than you can actually imagine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, by cooking it, you can know what kind of uh, ingredients are actually existing in the world. And you can, I don't know, you can be a really good mom or dad in the future. Or you can maybe possibly make some meal for your um, parents even. So let's say. And some ways inside, after all my efforts of telling you this, still, when you're heading back to home, like, I'm too busy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good presentation, but not my story. <laughs> you might say that. So I gave a lot, uh, another example, that brain food. What helps you to study better or your know, even activities, so, such as Almonds, chestnut, walnut, even dark chocolate, not milk or you know, some fat chocolate. Okay. Or apple, anything like this here, you are what they are really good, but you never really um, bother yourself to eat it. Mm -hmm. So those are really good. Um, it gives you, hey, uh, okay, um, the, no, but, yeah, coconut oil, mm -hmm. once again. So, um, if you started uh, taking those, which is not much a uh, big deal because you can just uh, grab these um, nuts in your bag, push it in, yeah. or you don't have to actually cook it. And you can just boil some egg and then even though it stings, <laughs> you can just bring it around, right? 
So don't say you're too busy for this. So what I actually suggest you to do is love yourself first. Instead of all the I know studies matter and it will gonna you think it will gonna change your life, your career. It does sometimes, but if you don't take care of your body first, how will you gonna do your work in the future, right? Mm -hmm. So above all you got to take care of yourself and look at that little hole to big of it is and and I just suggest you to bring this oh. one. So this is your plate. Go home, grab some plate, and sit down and like, okay, what should I put in this plate, this empty plate? Start with this format, like a fruit on top with grains such as rice and vegetable on the side and protein. And don't forget the water or any diary like milk. And that, that, it, that could be your start. And um, maybe once you feel more healthy after like a week or two weeks, it will gonna become your habit. Mm. Yeah. So that was my presentation for today, and I hope everybody gets healthy.